everybody's talking about the debate, and uh, everyone's talking about the winner of this debate. And clearly, the winner of the debate uh, was the guy in the red sweater, yeah. and uh, <laughs> Ken Bone. And uh, for some reason, no one is talking about this moment, but we have to, we have to show it. There's a lot at stake. This is not an ordinary time, and this is not an ordinary election. We are going to be choosing a president who will set policy for not just four or eight years, but because of some of the important decisions we have to make here at home and around the world, from the Supreme Court to energy and so much else. And so there is a lot at stake. It's one of the most consequential elections that we've had. And that's why I've tried to put forth specific policies and plans. Kind of get it off of the personal and put it on to what it is I want to do as president. Thank you very much, both of you. You can move. Oh, that, that was the best dancing I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> You can move. He uh, wasn't bad either. No, oh, Ken Bone yeah. was great. Oh, we were Ken good Bone together. Was great. Um, <laughs> listen, uh, before uh, I say goodbye to you, it is your 69th birthday in a few weeks. It is. And uh, I can imagine, but tell me what you wish for for your birthday. Well, I, I have several wishes. One of them obviously includes uh, the election, but I also, I really wish that I will be the president that our country needs right now. That's my deepest <laughs> hope. You are. Yeah. And, and you know, you're right, it is my birthday. And just think of it this way, I will be the youngest woman ever elected president of the United States. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. That's right. That's right. I cannot wait. I, I have high hopes, and I trust in, in the good people of this country to make the right decision. Um, after you uh, are elected president, come back and see us. I will. All right. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. We'll be right back.